the aim today is to go through problems that occur in every single junior centre, how we can anticipate them, and then by doing that, have our solutions ready before we go into the madness that is the summer. So, as I said, 11 years. Um, the, how I became the summer DOS, the previous DOS preferred teaching to administration, did a couple of summers in the junior centre and decided, no, 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 I want the nicer life of going into the classroom, enjoying a bit more and less stress. Um, part of the deal was that I had to do my Delta, which I did. Um, it gives you the opportunity to progress within your organisation, because often, as you mentioned earlier about CPD, if you don't know about these things, you're just you're gonna you're gonna love what you do and teach, but maybe you won't break that boundary if you don't know or if you're not exposed to things like this where they introduce all these topics. Um, finally, they asked me to do it, and I had had so many years experience in the junior centres so that I said, "Yeah, this is gonna be easy." So I said, "Yeah, no problem. Like eight weeks, twenty-six teachers, on average about four hundred students a week. So you can imagine the amount of group leaders." Like that. So, before I go on, I'd like you to just work with your partners, the people beside you. Can you think of um, what the four main potential problem areas would be that a director of studies would face? So, four potential problems. <laughs> just four. Only four. <laughs> They are probably, well, maybe not in the in order, I think. Dissent, dissatisfaction with teachers. 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 I definitely heard exactly what I wanted to hear. Can I get one potential problem? Teachers. Teachers. Students. Oh, there's another one. Students. Right. Work leaders. Oh, these are your great students. <coughs> Management. <laughs> <laughs> Within the junior centre or your management from your original? Yes, yeah, General. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll put it in. We'll put in management as a little star. <laughs> because you do have your <clears throat> head director of studies or your head principal or owner of the school that would have to oversee the junior centres anyway and be the final contact. There's one more area. As a director of studies, would you normally deal with that, or would that be the no, principal side? Yeah, facilities. Uh, okay, I'm going to yeah. give it to you. I'm going to say complaints. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because in that sense, complaints come in from everyone. Okay, so these would be the four main areas. I'm going to get you to go back for another minute and just think on one possible problem, one issue for each of these four. What type of complaint could you get? What could be a problem with a group leader? I don't know. What could be a problem with a student? What could be problems with teachers? So it could be students have problems with teachers or vice versa. How is that going to fall under the director of studies? <coughs> <coughs> I imagine they're 
Oh yeah, it could be the thing with like the culture and I think something that was meant to be not in not to the I don't know why you know whatever. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. 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 Go back together. Go back together. Can I get one possible problem for teachers from you guys? Uh, we were talking about sometimes they are new teachers and they're inexperienced and they stress or they might not know where everything is and it's all a bit chaotic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Students. Oh, um, they just want you to give them English. Okay. <laughs> like, can I go to your junior centre? <laughs> do, do English to me. <laughs> I suppose if it's juniors as well, they could be unmotivated because they've just been um, playing here for holidays. Luckily now, we have the tools for that. Absolutely. <laughs> um, group leaders. Amy on. Um, so if there's inconsistencies of what they understand at a certain level, if they're their teacher at home and they're like, well, they're this level here, why are they this level here? Mm -hmm. So they're kind of inconsistent yeah. in their understanding. Do you have something to add, Peter? No, it's like, but they've done X exam. Yeah. How could they be in this class? Yeah. 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 Okay. This kind of all types of things. <laughs> I just want to change everything the first morning. You know, yeah. You, yeah. You've given them a schedule for the week, it's been agreed uh, through the whole process, and then they come and say, actually, rather than doing lessons tomorrow, I'd like to work the clips and over. So if we could just put the clips and over in, and if you could make the weather really good, that would be great. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Yeah, I completely agree. And finally, do we have any complaints? What possible complaints from these people? So we've got level. Nationality gets. Oh, it's one of my faves. Mm -hmm. That they want to. They want to. But more, yeah. Like, uh, yeah. Varies by week as well. You might have like, Spanish 50 times one week, mm -hmm. next week, good change. Mm -hmm. Got 100 times 50 times. Yeah. Or, three Russians. Or, or <laughs> yeah, yeah. you give them the nationality mix and they're like, but I don't want to be in class with the Chinese students. They don't talk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's never. Always. Okay. Good. That's exactly what I wanted. So as you can imagine, before I became the DOS, I only saw it from a teacher's perspective. So my particular complaints were um, this, they keep speaking Italian or they keep speaking Spanish or they won't participate in class or, you know, I have to move the student up, the student keeps want, wants to move up, but they're not at the right level, etc, etc. Um, and working with my other teacher that we have the shared classes with. So I had a very different perspective. It's quite naive, I suppose. Uh, so these were complaints, complaints about teachers, by students, by group leaders, possibly by other teachers, uh, complaints about students, from students, from teachers, nationality mixes, as you said, classes are too easy, we've done this before, I've done the present perfect, they've never said it in the I have done, <laughs> <laughs> but they've done it. Um, social program is boring, there's too much history, there's too much museums, there's not enough museums. Mm. The rain, the rain, the rain, I don't like potatoes. <laughs> um, in regards to group leaders, it's their expectations, as you said. I soon discovered that what our agents and our marketing departments sell them could be a sample program or a sample course, thank you, timetable. Um, and they go in with their groups, bringing them to Ireland, thinking that's exactly what they're going to get. And so that's when on day one, but hold on, we're not supposed to be going here, we have to go here, we have to go here. So that's a big issue as well. Um, and bypassing school protocols. So instead of coming to me or to the principal, they go to their agent and the agent contacts the marketing director. The marketing director contacts the director of studies in the city centre. They then contact me. I then have to talk to the group leader to talk to the student. So it's a big issue with regards to communication. Um, little did I know. 
teachers, as you said, Fiona, experience or lack of experience. They could both be potential problems, because if they're very experienced, they may think, well, <laughs> I'm amazing. <laughs> and if they lack of, as you said, they could be quite insecure, a little bit nervous, not sure, should they be asking questions aloud, or are other people going to look at them and go, oh, how did you not know that? Um, staffing protocol. So there is a protocol that... When I work during the year as a teacher, I'm in and out of the staff room, I get my coffee, I go, I photocopy and I go. I rarely stay in the staff room, but in junior centres there's a lot, period of time where they may go on the excursions with them and they have to interact with what they do, and are there group leaders in the staff room, are they giving out about a student and the group leaders there, all of these things that you need to be aware of. Um, teachers' expectations, I have 20 hours a week, that's all I need to do, I don't need to spend hours and hours in planning. Why do I have to go to a workshop? What do you mean I have to go to a Friday meeting? Um, resources. Hands up if you've worked in a junior centre during the summer. Yeah. So I don't need to explain that, do I? Are there any resources? Are there any current, up-to-date resources from this century? No. So, that's an issue straight away. Why does the audio not match the book? It's a different edition. Why do I have a CD? I don't have a CD player, etc. And then absences, unexpected absences. What do you do? I heard you say it's really difficult to get teachers during summer, so what do you do then suddenly? You have to teach sometimes. Maybe you have to teach, maybe you have to have other tricks up your sleeve. Um, and then student expectations, again. Nationality mixtures, they all kind of interlink. That Until you actually get thrown in the deep end here, you don't realise that that's what it is. Um, and then again, bypassing school protocols. I'm sitting in my classroom on WhatsApp and my mother saying that the Italian students are only speaking Italian, they won't speak to me because I'm Spanish. My class is really boring. The mother calling the agency, the agency calling the group leader, the group leader coming into me, me having to talk to the student, then talk to the teacher, then back to the group leader, back to the... and it's a vicious circle. So these are all problems that are in need of...